In this video, we can discuss about the different defects which are faced in tablet coating process. Sometimes due to the variation in the formulation of coating solutions or variation in the processing condition may result in unacceptable quality in the film coating process. And different defects which are faced in film coating process are sticking and picking, roughness, orange peel effect, bridging and filling, blistering, hazing or dull filling, color variation, cracking and twinning. We can discuss each defects and its rectification method in detail. First defect is sticking and picking. This occur due to over wetting or excessive film tackiness or when drying system is inefficient. At this time, the tablet stick each other or to the coating pan. So, at the point of contact, a piece of film may remain adhered to the pan or another tablet giving a picked appearance to the tablet surface and which will result in a small exposed area of the core tablet. And this can be rectified by reducing the liquid application rate or by increasing drying air temperature and air volume. If excessive tackiness is there in the formulation, we have to change the formula. So this is the picture of an defect sticking part of coated tablet is removed and it will expose the core tablet. Next defect is roughness. A rough or gritty surface is a defect often observed when coating is applied by spray coating method. Some of the droplet may dry too rapidly before reaching to the tablet wet result in droplet on the tablet of spray dried particle instead of finely divided droplet of coating solution. Roughness also increases with pigment concentration and polymer concentration. This can be rectified by moving the nozzle closer to the tablet bed or by reducing the viscosity of coating solution or by decreasing the degree of atomization or by reducing the dry air temperature. So this is a picture which show roughness of quarter tablet. Next defect is orange peel effect. This refer to coating texture that resemble the surface of an orange. Inadequate spreading of coating solution before drying causes a pumpy or orange peel effect on the coating. It is usually is the result of high atomization pressure in combination with the spray rate that are too high. This also indicate that the spreading is embedded by too rapid drain or by high solution viscosity. And this problem can be rectified by thinning the solution with additional solvent or by reducing drying air temperature. This is a picture which show orange peel effect. Next defect is bridging and filling. During drying, filling may shrink and pull away from the sharp corners of the tablet which will result in bridging or surface depression. These defects may be so severe that the monogram or the tablet is completely obscured and this is a problem which are due to the formulation and it can be rectified by increasing the plasticizer amount or by changing the plasticizer. Now filling. So if a solution is supplied too fast, over wetting may cause the liquid to cook, fill and be retained in the monogram. So the monogram cannot be visible. And this can be rectified by judicious monitoring of fluid application rate and through proper mixing of tablet in pan. So this is a picture which show bridging and filling. Here the monogram cannot be visible due to filling. Next defect is blistering. 
when coated tablet require further drying in oven too rapid evaporation of the solvent from the core and effect of high temperature on strength elasticity and adhesion of the film may result in blistering and this can be rectified by adopting milder drying conditions so this is a picture which show defect blistering next defective hazing or dull film it occur when too high processing temperature and humidity is used for a particular formulation it is particularly evident when celluloid polymer are applied out of aqueous media at high processing temperature it also occur if the coated tablet are exposed to high humidity condition and solution of film and this can be rectified by reducing the drying temperature tablet should keep free from moisture next defect is color variation improper mixing and even spray pattern and insufficient coating may result in color variation and the migration of soluble dye plasticizers and other additives during drying may give the coating a molded or spotted appearance and this can be rectified by using lake instead of dyes or by changing plasticizers and additive to insoluble type so this is a picture which show color variation or molded effect next defect is cracking this is a cracking of the tablet which occur if the internal stress in the film exceed the tensile strength of the film it can be rectified by two strategy either by increasing tensile strength of the tablet by using high molecular weight polymers or by minimizing the internal stress by adjusting plasticizer type and concentration and pigment type of con concentration so this is a picture which show cracking effect due to defects in tablet coating and last defect is tinning in this two tablet will stick together this is a common problem with capsule shaped tablets and this can be rectified by changing the shape of the tablet if we have to rectify without changing the shape of tablet we can solve this problem by balancing the pan speed and span rate that is by reducing the spray rate or by increasing the span speed in some cases it is necessary to modify the design of tooling by very slight changing the radius this is the picture which will show tinning effect so that is all about the different defects faced in tablet coating process these are some questions seen in previous year question paper write a note on defects of tablet coating process what is orange peel effect what is bridging and filling in the tablet coating defects so hope it is clear thank you for watching this video